there, Trekkers and Trekkies. So when I was a kid, I, I actually remember my grandmother had the uh, Fun with Dick and Jane books, at least a couple of them. Um, and I, I, I remember, you know, her especially reading them with me when I was like little, little, like five, six years old, first learning to read kind of thing. And I, I remember then, many years later, I was probably around my 20s or early 20s, you know, 2021 20, kind of thing, and was visiting my grandmother. And she happened to have found, and keep in mind that she had those books from when my dad was little. She had gotten, because I'm pretty sure she told me that her father, my great grandfather, bought them because he was an English teacher um, that he bought the fun with Dick and Jane books for my dad and so when I was a kid she read them to me um, and I know she read them to my my other cousin I don't think she ever read them to my sister or my even younger cousin because they didn't for some reason me and my older cousin older as in a few years younger than me we spent a lot of time with my grandmother um for some reason by the time that my sister and my younger cousin got to be uh you know got to be about five six years old they didn't spend quite as much time at my grandmother's i don't know why i never really I think i talked to my parents about that at some point I'd be like how come they didn't spend you know Actually, I do know part of the reason, at least for my mom, is that at that point, she was working from home. And so taking care of my sister from home was a lot easier. Anyways, that's all off topic. Y'all don't want to hear about my childhood and the fact that my parents would slug me off to slug me off on my grandmother for weeks on end. Uh, you're not interested in that. Um, so anyways grandfather got fun with dick and jane books for my, my dad when he was a kid my grandmother read them to me when i was a kid i don't know in my 20s i'm visiting my grandmother and i remember reading looking at through them well, i wasn't reading them but i'm like i'm flipping through them going wow i didn't realize that those books really didn't have any kind of plot they were just very very basic you know see dick throw the ball throw the ball dick throw the ball it was and i realized that all it was was it was creating an association of you see the picture and you see him throwing the ball or you see jane you know feeding the baby or whatever it was all very 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 stereotypical um gender norms kind of stuff for dick and jane probably wouldn't be quite the same if they wrote Dick and Jane nowadays. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I should write fun with Dick, Jane, and Harry, and Pat. Uh, and them. Um, so, looking at it, I'm like, man, yeah, there is, there is no story here. There's no plot. It's just creating word association you know, learn what a ball is, learn what a baby is, learn what food is, you know, learn what flowers are, kind of stuff. So, when I got fun with Kirk and Spock, I was not necessarily expecting a plot. Granted, the picture on the cover makes you feel like there should be maybe a little plot, a thread of something, but I, was, I wasn't expecting it. But this word right here, I'm, I'm, I'm a Mel Brooks kind of parody kind of guy. You know, I, I love Blazing Saddles. I love Spaceballs. You know, those are parodies. Airplane, mm, Chef's Kiss, one of the best air parodies ever done. Airplane 2 fantastic hilarious scene with William Shatner in it not doing a Captain Kirk it's oh it's great I love it anyways 
I was a little disappointed. Because while this is definitely recreating the spirit of the Fun with Dick and Jane books, it isn't funny. It's just, it, I mean, there's points where you can tell it's trying to be. I mean, it starts off very basic. See the Enterprise, see the Enterprise, go boldly, go, go, Enterprise, go boldly. Okay, that's, that's kind of funny. Yes, but it's very much sticking to that traditional Dick and Jane vibe. We get over, you know, see Kirk fight, fight Kirk, fight. Kirk is outnumbered, Kirk is hurt. Kirk knows a chop to the neck. Will the tri uh, we'll do the trick every time, and Kirk wins up here. You know, which I get. They're making fun of the the, the space karate that they would do um, in the in the show, and it was it didn't make any sense. But they would do it, and it was it worked. It was fun, but. Then, then there's stuff like this. That a Jeffrey's tube is good for many things. A Jeffrey's tube is good for climbing from one deck to another. A Jeffrey's tube is good for finding ways to stop the M5 from taking over the ship. A Jeffrey's tube is good for housing a matter-antimatter reaction chamber, which the matter-antimatter-reaction chamber is not located inside a Jeffrey's tube. It's located in main engineering, so that's a completely ridiculous statement. A Jeffrey's tube is not good for hiding a dead Tellarite. What? That's not funny. That's just morbid and weird. So, to be fair, the book, it's got some amusing points. They, they spend a lot of time making fun of Spock because Spock is logical and they beat that dead horse till it is hamburger. Um, they they do a fair job of making fun of some of the aliens, but it's just I don't I'm not saying I could have done better, but it just didn't feel very funny. And when I'm I'm looking for a parody, I'm looking for some humor and this one was kind of disappointing um the the art style is terrific that's one thing i will give the book is the art is amazing there's a few of these pictures i totally absolutely would you know hang on the wall because they are just really good the artist is terrific but the so-called fun with Kirk and Spock. It's not. It's it's boring. It's typical. It's just about anybody I think could have come up with this. But it's worth having if you really want to have some fun. People can check it out. This is the kind of thing that I could see people leaving on their coffee table and somebody just being, you know, opening up to a random page and being like, <laughs> as long as they don't open up to the dead Tellerite thing, because that's kind of weird. So, that being said, um, <laughs> maybe you learned something from this one. You can, you learned that I'm, I'm not happy with every Star Trek book, I, and I think, like I said, it was, I was just expecting it to be a little, a little more humor, a little more fun. And this one wasn't. It was... Maybe it's a little too dry. Um, I'm not real sure. So. Until next time, take care of yourself. I'll see you. Go out and make something. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon. If you want to support me, you can find me on Patreon or go over to Zazzle for prints of my artwork, t-shirts, and other cool stuff. If you're still here, why do you want to jam out?